Hello there, this is Hassan Kareb with Force of My Calling, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can select any DAWN element with plain JavaScript. So before I get started, I want to get introduce you um, to the DOM. Um, right here, I have a section tag, and inside I have a comment saying, hello, I am a comment, an h2 tag, uh, an order list with ID of item list. Inside, I have a loose text and five list items tag with class item, and inside of them, I have an anchor tag with text item and enumerator. Um, accordingly after that I have an input uh, element and then a button element simply as that so when coming to JavaScript selecting DOM elements is pretty much straightforward so in JavaScript we have this awesome object which is the document object which refers to everything you can see um, in the browser and, and it has a lot of functions a lot of um, good stuff in it so in that's gonna be our base point so you always call document and for this one I'm gonna be getting an element by ID when getting an element by ID you have to pass it uh, the name of the ID in this time so it's called items list like we see for an order list it's gonna be grabbing this guy right here which has the ID of items list so getting element by ID is simply passing the text of the name of the ID and if I uncomment this part you can see he successfully got my another list of with ID items list very very simple so another way to get um, elements is by querying them and query works just like the CSS we all know about so if I do document query selector inside the query selector um, we have to pass a CSS um, selector in this case I want to get the item um, with the element with item class so if I do this um, you can, as you can see I have the dot which is in CSS marks uh, flags CS uh, class and this is a CSS selector so query selectors take a CSS selector just for you know so everything else take the name you know the name of whatever you grabbing it by so if I uncomment this one you see, funny enough, I call this variable first item. It, that's because, as you can see here, you grab on the first item. It's because the query selector only will return the first match. But if we look at the DOM right now, you can notice that there is five list item with class item. So if I wanted to grab them all, I had to do something very similar. I have document query select all this time. That's the same thing. And if I look at it, this time it returned a node list with all the matches. So um, a good way to, to grab just the first match is just using query selector. But if you want to get any match, um, you have to do the query selector all at the end. So both of them take um, a CSX selector. So in here you can do um, pretty much the same thing as CSS. If I grab, the, if I add A, uh, here and I look you see grab all the a tags inside the list items of with class item so very very useful thing right here so right now if you notice here it returned a node list pay very good attention to this one I'm gonna get back to this um, soon so the next one see um, everything here start with document so I'm calling on the document then um, querying stuff so this time I'm gonna grab um, things by name so I get element by name and simply I'm gonna pass a name so this time I'm gonna pass uh, item so just don't you get confused um, this actually refers to the name attribute so as you can see here if I refresh and I comment this guy uh, you can see he returns nothing why because there's no um, name attributes and any element that has the value item so if I come here and I say name and I say item if I refresh now you see return every item that has the name attribute of item value so uh, as you can see here my, my ID is already um, marking this as invalid because name is not actually of um, a valid attribute for um, list items but if you can see here the input 
type email has the name of email. So now if I come in here and change to grab elements by name email in a refresh here, it returns the input, which actually has the attribute tag uh, of email, as you can see right here. So very, very useful. So another one is actually grab items by the class name. So document get element by class name. Simple as that. So it's very similar to get element by ID. This time you have to pass the at the class. So let me see what I'm going to grab. Um, I'm going to grab every class. So just for you um, to have a very good. Um, so like I said, I, I'm going to get back to this node list. So before just uh, pay attention to this, you see, when I did the class, um, when I do the get element by class name, I simply pass the name of the class. See, there's no dots in front of it. But when I did a query selector, I had to do the dot because the query selector, like I said, um, takes a CSS selector. And when you do element by class name or element by ID, you just have to pass the name of the class or the name of the ID just for you to have in mind in there. So if you see this time when I did the elements by class name, it returned a HTML collection. But when I did a query select all of item, it returned a node list. So um, very important things to have in mind. So what's the difference between the node list and the HTML collection? Just for you to have, uh, this is very important. It's actually uh, none of them are arrays. So if you want to act upon them as array, you will not. So there's a lot of uh, array functions there that work uh, similar, similarly, for example, I can do an array of filter and pass a function item and do a return right here. For example, I'm just going to true, uh, for example, this is a, a, a function uh, specific for arrays. Um, doing the same thing for the node list or the HTML collection would never work, but there's one functions that array used that node list used, for example, if I extend the proto right here, you can see I have a for each option. I have entries, item, keys, values, the difference. So this tells me a lot of this list. And if I expand on this one, so I'm just going to comment out um, everything else and refresh. So I have to keep the items. So, so if I expand the HTML collection, I see that I don't have much option. I have the item function, the name item function, and then the length, which is it's just cool, but it's not enough to work on. So that's one my number of reason that I use query selector all instead of using any by class name and later on the tag name instead. So because it returns the load list, which is the main difference is the node list is iterable. You know, you can walk through it, um, iterate through it simply and the HTML collection you can't. So if you want to do things like, like you have treat them like an array, you have to convert them, um, into an array, both of them. So, but node list is actually give me more option right here, which I like the for each, which I can iterate every item. Um, I can actually call it a specific item right here. Um, I can go by keys, I can go by entries and values that we want to talk about later on in this uh, course. Uh, let me know if you want a uh, video about them, but um, just something to have in mind. So, and the last one, fair enough, we can get things by the tag name, get element by tag name. And I'm going to do ally. So here, the tag name takes an element uh, uh, HTML tag. The query selector takes a CSS selector, the document collect by class name and by name and by ID takes the name and the tag name takes the HTML tag. So if I come uncomment this part, you see it also return the HTML collection. Fair enough. So I just grab everything that it was a LA. So if I do a button that will have one match, simple enough. So these are very good stuff right here. So this is how you can select any DOM element. Um, there's much into it. Um, as you can see, um, you can click on any of my videos thumbnails and we can talk a further one. So my next video, we're going to talk, we're going to be 
for the next video i'm going to be talking about how to select parent elements and i can select children and later on i'll be talking about how to select comments i can select any elements any position referring um related in relations to this uh, the current one so there's a lot of good stuff um, that we can do with the dom here so thanks for watching see you next video